Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the next lecture of our Bob Graph series. In this video, we're going to see the problem shortest path in a grid with obstacle elimination. So basically, in this uh, BFS variation problem, we will see the problem where you can visit a cell, a node again and again. Basically, I will teach this problem right here shortest path in a grid with obstacle elimination but for you guys you have these two problems with you which means it will just say okay you can visit a cell that depending upon the edge if it is a red edge then you can visit a cell if it's a blue edge then you can visit the same cell or a node here i will just teach you okay this problem that okay if the obstacles are remaining then you can visit this cell no matter if you have four obstacles remaining three two one zero then you like you cannot visit the cell so it's on that in this you can visit the cell depending upon the keys you have so basically the cell we can visit that again and again depending upon the condition okay if we have something left or not if we have to reach that cell from a multiple ways let's see what the problem is saying we are given a m cross n integer matrix grid very standard grid standard where zero represents the empty cell and one represents the obstacle so obstacle elimination so obstacle is represented by a one in this grid you can move up down left and right as in the last videos also uh, in the last lectures of our bab series i have also told that okay we have the four directionally connected grid then we can move up left right and down in one step to an empty cell marvels to an empty cell return the minimum number of steps minimum number of steps to walk from the upper left corner to the lower right corner i guess we have used these words earlier also how minimum number of steps to reach from one cell to other cell which means shortest distance to reach from 0, 0 to m minus 1 comma n minus 1 which means simple bfs will be applied here for sure because we need to find the shortest distance but 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 what's the caveat in this that you can eliminate at most k obstacles i can visit a cell but i can also eliminate some obstacles which means although i have some obstacles but still i can visit the cell provided i have the elimination power to eliminate that obstacle if it is not possible then return minus 1 let's see the problem quite pretty quickly so basically in this problem you are given some uh, matrix where every cell is representing okay if it is having obstacle or not if it is having obstacle or not if it's having obstacle or not so basically 0 comma 1 is having an obstacle 0 comma 1 is having an obstacle it is just showing that k equal to 1 which means my eliminating power i can eliminate one cell while going from my source node which is actually this 0 comma 0 to a minus 1 comma n minus 1 i can eliminate one obstacle best option or the one option i have is i just move one step here one step here one step here one step here if i had no power to eliminate this obstacle then i would have gone here but i know i have one power which means i can destroy this cell so i can just which means that okay the cell right here is just cleaned up now i can just move in the step five in the step six i reach to my final cell which is the shortest time possible now if it would have been a simple bfs then you would have just moved from this particular cell to the right cell for sure right but 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 what we saw earlier what we saw in this above example also that okay because of my one eliminating power i can also move remove that one obstacle so maybe i can say okay i can just move from 0 comma 0 to 0 comma 1 also and 1 comma 0 also but do you think is this 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 are both same no right what is the difference between them the difference between them is that the 0 comma 1 right here he has not used his eliminating power while this 1 comma 0 right here has used his eliminating power which means i also have to maintain that what eliminating power they are left with which means this 0 comma 0 comma 1 which means okay initially it has one eliminating power when it moved to right it 
still has one eliminating power left. When it moved down, its eliminating power got reduced to zero because it has used one eliminating power to actually move to this particular cell. Thus, you saw how our BFS got modified and how we knew that it's going to modify because we saw is this the same thing that uh, we are moving to the cell right here and the cell down. No, right. For sure, we actually need to state how many number of eliminating power are remaining and uh, Arin, if I just wanted to make sure the eliminating power remaining, then why I need to store in my uh, state right here? It is because the next time you're going to move down, down, then you can't move right because you have zero eliminating power. So at every step, you need to make sure, okay, I can move to which of my neighbors. I can move to my neighbors such that it is not visited in the same state and also it if I can visit it, which means if it is not visited, let's say, if I can visit it, so I should make sure, okay, I should have some eliminating power left, which means if it would have gone down, 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 then when it had reached here, I would have said, okay, yeah, it can visit it because it has one eliminating power left. I hope that you guys got the intuition and the logic, okay, how we change the state which will actually go inside our queue. But to actually understand much better how the BFS is working, let's quickly dry run on a standard simple example which is given above. Which means, let's see, we start from this node. I said, okay, we have we in our um, queue. I will just because if we have to do a BFS, I need to make sure I need to have a state of i j and e, which means i j is the cell i at which I am on and E is the eliminating power left which will actually make me sure okay I can actually eliminate the next obstacle or not which means I can visit that next obstacle or not cool then I will just go and visit this cell because a simple BFS which means I can visit this cell I can visit this cell so because I can't visit the cell uh, right on the uh, left and the above because it's not there so it's a standard condition that okay the cell neighbors are actually reachable or not then i landed at step one which means one step used i landed at this location right here and at this location right here you can easily see number of obstacles has gone to zero number of obstacles are still one now it will just go to the right now i will just again do a bfs on these two nodes because now because see a bfs is just breadth first search thus it is able to reach to the Final node in shortest amount of time because it is just moving breath wise. Now in the next step, it, it can just go right and it, it can go down. In this step, it can go right, it can go down. Can it go right? No. Why? Because it has no obstacle clearing ability, which means it can't eliminate any obstacle. And it is an obstacle right here. So it can't go right, it can only go down. Cool. But it can go down because it, it has the ability to eliminate an obstacle so it will just go down which will become one one zero it will go it will go down it will become two comma zero comma zero zero elimination power left and it will go right which means zero comma two comma one now at at the next step what will happen is again we can just do a simple bfs go right go down go right go down go right go down now you will see, okay, it will just move down. It can simply move down. It is just simply a one comma two comma one. You can easily see one comma two comma one. It can go right. Aryan, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Aryan, you already moved down. It is visited right. Why are you visiting again? I will say I will visit this again because you will see it got one to one as it moved down, which means one comma two and eliminating power. Eliminating power is one but if it moved right then it will be one comma two comma zero so here when it moved right eliminating power is zero eliminating power is one so it's a different state because it can now what will happen in future it is the condition at this cell right here at this cell it can go down both can go down but when it is about to go down here this cell won't be able to go down because its eliminating power is zero while the one having one it can go down it is the reason that i have to do a bfs from from this particular state which means visited will also be the state i comma j comma e earlier we used to have visit as okay if the cell is visited or not 
but now I have to visit this state. If this state is visited or not, cool. Then I will just go down. I'll just go right and I'll just reach here. From here, I'll just go right. I'll just reach two comma one comma zero. I can go down. I can reach a three comma zero comma zero. In the next step, what will happen is both will try to go down because it's empty. Both can go down. It will try to go left. It will try to go down. So, but it can't go down. It will try to go right. But we actually saw that we have actually visited the same node 2 comma 0 comma 0 which means with 0 eliminations I have visited this cell and it is also 0 elimination so I can't visit this cell for sure again because of this. So uh, it will just go down it will just reach a 4 comma 0 comma 0 uh, both will reach this state because both can reach down and the next step it which means zero elimination power it cannot go down because it has zero eliminations while one elimination power it can go down it can just go right it can't go up because it is already visited because of state zero now uh, it will just both of them will actually reach down uh, it was this state right here because it can also go right two comma one comma one it can also go right so it just reach right i'm just doing a standard bfs everything will go in the next step in the next step both will reach to the final state which is 4 comma 2 comma 0 and you will see you have reached a final cell in the shortest amount of time which is the six steps and thus your answer is six i hope that you guys got it that okay how will you keep your visited array your q will actually store okay i comma j comma e which means eliminating power left at every state because you have to go to every of those cell Maybe again and again because what who knows what's your eliminating power right now. Let's see the code pretty quickly. It's pretty easy that I just have this particular whole uh, boolean thing which is actually saying me okay my i comma j comma e is visited or not which is it is cell i cell j and eliminating power. Um, now I have this q uh, which is actually simple standard queue which will actually grab the input of the first node my first node is itself 0 comma 0 with the full eliminating power which is k because not right now it is not used as i told you in the last video also how we just just go on the four directionally connected matrix it is how we go then we have a standard as we have been watching in the last two lectures also last two problem also that we have the standard queue we just grab the size because we want to traverse level wise we grab the size we just start doing the bfs traversal we just grab the front of the queue pop it check okay have i reached my last node which i need to reach if yes then return the number of steps because it is the minimum number of steps if not then i actually go on to every of those directions mark okay what is the possible new i and j and also okay if that new i and j has an obstacle or not cool if 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 and if that i and j condition is valid which means that cell is in the bounds of my matrix then i will just have a look okay if that cell is not an obstacle and not visited also then i can just simply visit that and push my push in my queue but if that is an obstacle and also i have i have the power to actually remove some obstacle then i'll just simply first because as it's an obstacle so my one power to remove an obstacle is removed so i just push an obstacle minus one because now my obstacle removing ability has reduced by one because i have reduced one obstacle right now and just i just push the new inj which is the new child inj and also mark it as visited visited is also marked both the times ultimately in the last at each of those bfs traversal i have to basically increase my step count because at each bfs step my step at each bfs iteration my steps are increasing ultimately if i cannot reach to the location right here which means it will just go out of the loop and which means i was not able to reach my cell m minus one comma m n minus one and i have to return a minus one the time complexity is pretty simple it's just o of m into n because see a standard matrix bfs traversal is nothing but o of m into n because you visit every cell exactly once but i said that for every cell you can visit it k times because because you your eliminating power 
is actually k. So in the worst case, it can be possible that you visit the cell k times, which means 0, 0, let's say if the, let's say if the k is, let's say 5, which means the eliminating power is 5. So I can visit this particular cell by, let's say, 5 times by when my k is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So it's the reason I can visit my cell k times, thus I will just say, my time complexity is O of m into n into k. Space is also O of m into n into k because you saw right here also that we are grabbing this visited of O of m into m n uh, into k and also like we are using the q for BFS traversal. That's the reason our space will also be O of m into n into k. I hope that you guys got it. Exactly same code of Java is down below like exactly like written down exactly the same. If you have if you want you can just get it down below. And I hope that you guys got it. How the BFS traversal will always change depending upon that you can visit that cell how many times, how that condition is being changed that you can visit that cell. Thus, it's not necessary that you visit your cell only once. You can visit your cells multiple times also. But you have to keep a bound, okay, how many times I can visit my cell. If you do don't put a visit bound, okay, that bound of visit, then it will just go on infinite times and it will just give a TLE. Thus, you can visit that again and again, but that again and again will always have a limit of how much again. That's all from me. Ajay, in this, I just wanted to show you guys, okay, how is the BFS traversal uh, can be done if we have some problem that it can be visited again and again. In the next video, uh, although I had a lecture planned for BFS plus DFS, but for that I have to first teach a DFS. Thus, for the next lecture onwards, we will start with the DFS and see how that looks like. So yeah, it's all from me and I hope that you guys liked it. See you in the next Goodbye, take care.